ourselves some nice big twists. Really warm up that spine real quick. Okay. Welcome everybody to Restore and Stretch. My name is Sarah, if you don't know who I am. I'm glad you're here, and I know we mixed up our week on you today and had hit on Tuesday and Restore and Stretch today, but I'm glad you're here. So, let's start. Bring yourself into the space, and nice big deep breath in. And out. Good, and in, and out. Good, one more time, deep breath in, and exhale, touch those toes, big reach. Good, hold it nice and low. Deep breath out and roll yourself back up as you breathe out. Good. We're going to take a nice big wide stance. Welcome to everybody who just joined. We are going to take a nice big wide stance and deep breath in and out, bending forward. Good. We should be feeling a little bit of a different stretch here. Good. I want you to let your arms relax. Let your head relax. Let your hands gently on the floor. You should feel your upper, upper shoulders start to decompress a little bit. I know we've spent a long time on the computer today. And, ah, good. We are gonna turn to our left foot. Continuing to breathe while we're here. And walking over to our right foot. Same thing, continuing to breathe. Add back down to the center. turn our left foot and drop our back knee, drop our right knee into a deep lunge position. So we went from a side into our deep lunge. We should be feeling it right here in this quad and our hip flexor. And we should be using our core to keep us upright and balanced. Good. And if you feel comfortable here, drop into your hands. Deepen that stretch. Deepening our stretch, feeling it all the way down that quad. And exhale, push back. So our glutes come back to our right heel. And we fold over our left leg. Good, deep breath. Punch into that forward fold. Feel it all the way down this calf. Good, go ahead, come up on that knee. 
and we're gonna switch sides, coming through that big wide straddle position. And off to our other side, our left knee is on the floor, right foot is out in front, big lunge. And we come up, we're nice and straight through our torso, keeping our core engaged, and we breathe. If you're feeling it, drop lower, drop into those hands. Our knee should be touching our shoulder. And don't forget to breathe. One more big deep breath in. And push back glutes into that heel forward fold over our right leg. And breathe. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Go ahead knees together, sitting on your heels. I turned so you could see me. And we are going to take a big deep breath in. Our arms are going to go up. And lean off to that right side. Remember, we're leaning from our side. We should be leaning right in line with our belly button. We're not coming forward. We're not going back, going off to the side. We should be feeling it all down here. Give yourself a little support hand if you want it. And as you exhale, come back up to center and off to our left. Big reach, big stretch. Deep breath out as we bring our hands down to our sides. And we are going to forward fold into child's pose. Again, I'm going to turn so you can see me. We forward fold into child's pose, reaching our fingertips out away from our body. Feeling that pull in our shoulders. As we're here, our hips should be sinking into our heels and our rib cage should be in our quads. If we can't fold quite that far, that's okay. Work on that mobility, you'll get there. And deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Coming up onto our hands and our knees. While we're here, our wrists should be under our shoulders, our knees directly under our hips. And as we breathe out, we sink our belly button to the floor. As we breathe in, we round spine to ceiling. And exhale. And inhale. Good. Two more deep breaths at your pace. And this time as you exhale, 
push your feet back and your hips up into the sky. Nice little downward dog position. We're all familiar. Our hips should be up in the sky. Our ears should be between our biceps. And we should have a nice even weight distribution from our right hand to our left hand. And as you breathe out, drop your hips all the way to the floor, untuck your toes, and pull your head up out of your shoulders. All right, we don't want to be a turtle. We want to be nice and tall. Look over that right shoulder, stretch out your neck. And over your left. And one more time to the right. And last one to the left. Good. And push our hips back up into the sky. Making sure we feel that stretch down our calves. Getting a little bit deeper into the stretch, getting our heels a little bit closer to the floor. And with our right foot, we're gonna take that right foot and place our knee between our hands, drive it forward, place that knee between our hands. Dropping our back foot. Make sure our hips are squared in front of us. We're not leaning off to the side. Stay nice and square. Good job. If you can't get this low, that's okay. If you're all the way up here, that's awesome. You're still here working on your mobility. You're still here stretching. And drop down into those elbows, deepen your stretch. Deepen your stretch. Breathe while you're here. Breathe, 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 breathe. to push back up onto your hands, tuck that toe, and drive your right foot back. We're not staying here long, but I'll give you enough time to get here and stretch a second. And taking our left foot, driving that knee forward just like we did with our right. Again, make sure those hips are squared off in front of us. We're not falling off to one side. Good, breathe, feel the stretch. Remember while we're stretching, we might feel a little bit of discomfort and that's okay, but we should never feel pain if you ever start to feel pain, make sure you back out of the stretch slowly the way that you came into it. And we're gonna drop into those elbows. Drop down, fold forward. Fold forward. Good. Breathe, deep breath in. And out. And roll off onto that hip and sit up nice and big and straight for me. I 
want you to keep your left knee bent, right leg out big in front of us. We're going to take this left foot, cross it over our right. Take our right elbow to our left shoulder and twist. Big twist. We should feel this in our glutes, in our hips, in our low back. by looking behind you. One more deep breath in. And exhale, twist back forward. Switch your legs. This time our right is crossed over our left. Our left knee to our right, our left elbow to our right knee. And we twist. Make sure you stay nice and upright, chest tall. Good, deep in that stretch as much as you can. Look over that back shoulder. And as you exhale, slowly release that pose. Join me on your back. On our back with our knees bent, we are going to take our hands and we're going to clasp them like this underneath of us. So pushing those hips up and pulling from our shoulders. Our hips high in the sky, give those glutes a squeeze. Keep that core tight, push. Push, 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 push. Deep breath. And drop those hips, uncouple those hands. Don't lay on your hands. We're gonna grab both feet and bring them in. Bring them into our chest. Oh. We want our hips to remain as close to the ground as possible, so you might get a little lift, that's okay. But just as close as you can get them. Bring those knees as close into your chest as you can get them. And release your feet to the floor. We're going to take our left leg, grab that knee, grab behind our knee, and extend that foot up to the ceiling. We should get that leg as straight as we can. It's okay to have a little bend, but make sure we're feeling that stretch from our heel all the way down. Good. Hold five, four, three, two. Release knee to chest and foot to floor on the other side. Grab behind that knee again and extend that leg up. Nice and straight and tall. that knee to chest and foot to floor.
taking our hands behind both our knees this time. And both feet up to the ceiling. You want to show your ceiling the bottoms of your feet as much as you can. As much as you can, show the And as you exhale, release your knees to your chest and your feet to the floor. You're going to take your right knee and cross it over. Big twist in the spine, keeping our shoulders on the floor, hands wherever they're most comfortable, head and neck stay relaxed on the floor. Allow yourself to close your eyes, allow your mind to wander for just a minute. Bring that foot back up across. We're going to switch to our left. With that knee, big pull across. Big pull from that knee. Remember, shoulders stay on the floor. Stay on the floor, head stays on the floor, relaxed. And let that foot back down with both feet this time, both knees this time. Bring them up to your chest and drop them off to that left side, that first side. Shoulders stay on the floor. Head and neck stay on the floor. Deep breath. And one more. Exhale, bring those knees up and off to our right side. Allow your feet to come back into a nice neutral position, whether that's laying flat or with your knees elevated. Place your hands on your rib cage. And I want you to feel yourself As you breathe in, your rib cage expands. As you, as you breathe out, it compresses again. I want you to keep your hands there. And close your eyes. Keep breathing. Keep sitting on your, laying on your back. I want you to picture you're looking out at a lake, nice serene water, and on the lake you see a boat. I want you to picture that boat 
Maybe it's got a fisherman in it. Maybe it's got a little sail. I want you to picture that boat and focus on the boat as you breathe. Get closer to the boat. Get closer, see all the details. Picture the boat. What color is it? Does it have a sail? Is there someone sitting in it? I want you to take one more deep breath in and out. And I want you to open your eyes and sit up nice and slow, coming into a seated position. We're gonna finish off today taking two deep breaths together and deep breath in and out. One more time, deep breath in and out. Awesome job, everybody. I hope you're feeling very calm and restored, headed into the last day of the week. Make sure that you're staying hydrated as it's getting warmer outside. And I hope you all get to enjoy the beautiful spring weather that has finally arrived and is here to stay. Have a great evening, everybody.